Does anyone know what slapback is? You know, who know? Tell us, Mr. Audio. In the days before digital audio, tape recorders were often used to create echoes and delays. By recording a signal at the record head and playing it back a fraction of a second later at the playhead, a short delay was created. Changing tape speeds changed the delay times. Creating delays this way was known as slapback. It was convenient since most studios had several quarter-inch machines they could use. In addition to using tape recorders, musicians often used dedicated signal processors like the Echoplex, especially when performing live. These devices used a short tape loop and had an adjustable gap between the record and playhead to create a variety of echoes. By varying the spacing of the heads, the volume of the playback, and the regeneration amount, echoes could be created to match the style and tempo of any song. Digital delay processors first appeared in the early 70s, but they were very expensive and could only create short delays. So slapback, using tape recorders, was still used in recording studios for many years after. Thanks, Mr. Audio. For more interesting facts about sound, visit Mr. Audio at soundimages.com.